so this is eight arcanes mm, tree magic show okay so with this a few different layers are going to go on i'll show you those <clears throat> first of all got map out where your tree lines up and go these are trees from further away <clears throat> now for the green we'll look at this got a little bit of, uh, permanent green not too much it's kind of dangerous colors <clears throat> and yellow and black yellow and black to make it earthy green. Nice. And then white to make a tint of it because it's further away. Test the color out. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. Okay, so watch this. Here we go. Trees further away. Once again, this is a um, background kind of foresty tree. With this, <clears throat> I'll add a little more yellow and white to it, more of a tint. I'm using a round brush at first, blurring it out really soft. And these are blurry trees off the distance. I'll scrub this as it comes down, make it a little bit darker as it comes down here at the bottom. The shape's really important, but I'll do like one little section at a time. This is almost good enough for this one little spot here. Okay, so you can see by the looking at it, uh, I got a little bit of variety of colors in there, variety of values. Now the shape, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to actually uh, feather it out a little bit using a sponge. So I'll do these trees right in this area. Okay, so right here, top of these trees are a little bit too distinct. I'll use a corner of a sponge and soften those a little bit, blur them out. Okay. Over here, blur that out as well. Use the sponge technique. <clears throat> Tap it out a little bit. <clears throat> okay. And that's it for this big brush. I'm done with that. That's it. I'm gonna go to a smaller brush now, like a medium round. And with this, I'm gonna start getting like some of the smaller details in the tree as it comes up here. Barely tapping in. So I start with a big brush. <clears throat> then get smaller and smaller and smaller. And smaller. And smaller, 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 and smaller. I'm going to add a little more white to it, more of a tint. And this is all for the base coat. Now, as you can see, I'm adding more yellows to it as well, so I'm changing colors, so it's not all exactly the same. Show some light values. I'm kind of tapping it, scrubbing it, so you can see the brush strokes. The brush strokes look good. Well, professional. Professional brush strokes generally mean like wet paint, confident looking, so not like a lot of dry brush. Wet paint, confident brush strokes. All right, so technically you can leave those trees just like that. You wouldn't have to really change them that much. But we're gonna go a little further with it. On the base down here, make it a lot darker. I'll give it some depth down here. So I'll scrub this in. I don't know where that white came from. I'll do yellow and black again. Super dark down here. Man, he's going crazy dark. Look at that. You know what I call this? Contrast. Now I'll start adding more of the yellows in there. Let it fade up. And when I fade it up, I'm not going to fade it randomly. I'm going to do like uh, like another, like a darker tree in front of that tree. A little shrub kind of tree. Now get rid of all the weird colors in there. Same shape of the tree, though. So if we come in there, maybe arc it a little bit. Too much contrast, so I'll add a little more white. And tap that out there. So you like trees on tree action. And that's hot. Here we go again. Blur that out a little bit. I'm using that tapping motion more or less on this thing. All the way across over here, even into these trees. Excuse me, Mr. Tree, coming through. It let me. Okay, scrubbing, scrubbing. Oh, man. Okay, so you can see that. So that could be done. That could be... A, a right there, so that could be like done enough for an A. Are we gonna stop there? Oh no. 
We don't, we don't want this. Hey, we want like holy Toledo. That's amazing. To get that and more layers. A little hazy layer here. Tap that out a little bit. Go back to the greens. Change color all the time because I'm crazy like that. Maybe a little patch up here, a little darker. All right. Let's trace it. A plus right there, so that's A plus for show. Now we're gonna go to like Holy Toledo. Okay, so this is A plus. Now I'll show you guys um, Holy Toledo. After you have these blurry trees like this, take your uh, like a bark texture more or less, add some branches in there. Then I'll skip a section. Come down, like put the branches in the skinnier areas, like right here. I'll do another little branch here. It may have peeking out right here. And again, right here, as it fades into the rest of the woods, the trees. Do the same thing on this side. 